wanted to go to Copenhagen or not, but um, I'll just tell you a bit about my experience. Um, I absolutely loved it, I had the best year. Um, I found it really easy to adjust. I know that's a big question in a lot of people's minds is how easy is it to go abroad. Um, I know it's more difficult going to somewhere like Asia or Australia, but I found Copenhagen pretty pretty simple really. I mean, the Danes speak fantastic English, you'll never have a problem with language issues. Um, they're all really welcoming, especially when you get to the actual university, and they've got a really good like buddy system in place. So someone will come meet you at the, uni at the airport even, and then take you to your halls. So, I mean, it's really, it's really not too challenging. Um, the modules are fine, like there's not much difference from Leeds. Are you, is this all business school students? Yeah, it should be. Everyone from that. Yeah, um, I mean, there's fairly similar modules, um, like international finance, like macro, micro, um, that sort of thing. So there's not too much variation there. Um, interesting thing to note with the exams, which I find the CBS, is you have a lot of oral exams yeah, for modules and stuff. So even if it's like what you would expect to be like a hardcore just exam, sort of like difficult paper, you do it orally. So that's a bit of a bonus and they give you a lot of marks for just being able to speak good English so <laughs> that helped me out a little bit well, so How um, is um, your accommodation? Uh, accommodation was fairly standard, just your normal um, fairly similar to here, maybe not the same standard but I mean it's just basic, it's got everything you need um, great chance to meet people um, obviously there's variation with the halls so you'll get some halls like I was in um, Catherine Collegiate on Finson's Vibe. So like that oh, was okay. That's right, right next to school. Yeah. yeah, it's really close to school. It's quite big, so you got a chance to meet loads of different international students. Um, you're gonna get some which are a bit smaller, so there could be like maybe only twenty people in the building or some I think slightly bigger. Um, like I think yeah. the is a bit bigger. I don't really know any of the oh, okay, yeah, because yeah, they're all inter international students, yeah. yeah. Um, but you know, you are primarily with international students, so you won't meet many Danes through that, but yeah, it was great fun. Um, met, I mean, you could meet Americans, Australians, Canadians, um, South Americans. So you do meet a lot of new people. Um, yeah, that's it on accommodation. Um, money? Money, uh, <laughs> they can tell you it's a very yeah. expensive city, um, especially compared to Leeds. Like, <clears throat> a lot, lot more expensive. But in, term, I mean, in terms of getting there, like, my flights are about £25 and I booked that four or five days before I went. Um, so it's fairly easy just yeah. to come back for the weekend, so it's almost as if I was in Leeds. Um, but yeah, no, general living expenses is definitely higher than Leeds. Um, I think I paid about five pounds for a Coke in a pub, which is about average, but um, yeah, it's not, it's not pretty. But I, I'm not sure about alcohol prices, but how does it vary to Leeds? Yeah. yeah, it's more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's definitely a lot more expensive. A drink can easily cost you nine pounds. But I mean, if you do decide to go there, you will get used to like, you'll know the places to go out where they'll give you like great deals and stuff. So, and you'll go out in big groups um, and they usually give group discounts. So, and student discounts. And oh. student discounts. Um, but the city itself is beautiful, really easy to get around. Um, there's a metro line which runs through most of the city, and yeah, anywhere you need to really get to is on the metro line. Um, you didn't buy a bike while you were there? Or? Uh, I did, yeah, you can also, I mean, everyone in Denmark cycles. <laughs> like, everyone cycles everywhere. So I bought one for, like, the summer semester while I was there, um, which is great fun. Everywhere is, like, 20 minutes bike by bike, so it's not too challenging. And it's super flat, so no, no steep inclines. Um, but yeah. John, uh, how do you find the workload and the standard academics compared to Leeds? Um, um, well, it's... Well, you'd be staying for a semester, so I suppose... A whole year? Yeah. Whole year. Whole year, okay. Yeah. Whole year. Um, well, there is this, yes, I suppose it's like, yeah, the modules run either for one semester or throughout the year, yeah. some of them, and of course... But I think the modules that we have are instead of five ECTS points, but most of you have like 10 Leeds credits, most of them will be 15 or 20 leads credits. Or so 30 if they run through the year. Or 30 leads credits if they run throughout the year. So the workload might be a bit bigger because you get more credits, so you have to take fewer modules. So. I mean, I, I, I personally, I didn't find there's like much change with, no. with that. I, I didn't find the workload any more 
more challenging. Um, and yeah, I think they're a lot more lenient with certain international students as well, especially when you have your exams or know who you are and you understand that you might not be working as hard as some of the Danes. Um, so they'll take that into consideration. But we don't take attendance? <laughs> yeah, so. they don't take attendance, which is great. So if you want to <laughs> um, take a week off and go travelling somewhere, there's not much they can really do about that. Um, and on travel, I mean, did you? Yeah, I did quite a lot of travelling um, around Europe. I, there's a like I think I said the other day, there's an easy jet hub there, so they do have a lot of flights to get to. If you want to get to like Lisbon or Barcelona, Amsterdam, like it is really easy to get there. Germany is just yeah, on the border, so. Around the corner, yeah. um, and there's some great trips to, if you want to go to the rest of Scandinavia, so Oslo, Stockholm, um, really, really easy to get to. So, I mean, I think it's the same with anywhere in Europe. I think wherever you go, you will have such a great opportunity to travel and you will have plenty of time to travel. Um, so, if you do decide to go anywhere in Europe, really make the most of how close Europe is and just get around as much as you can. But it was, it was really easy to get around Scandinavia, so I'd highly recommend that if you do go to Copenhagen. Has so anyone got any questions about Copenhagen? Okay. None at all? Yeah. It's more about the Erasmus grant. Okay. Um, they said they can't tell us this year how much it's going to be left. Yeah, they were. How much around it, like it was. Yeah, Lisa was saying that they haven't like finalised the official figure yet. Yeah. Um, I got <coughs> approximately 325 euros a month. Right. And that's because Copenhagen, for the Erasmus, is in the top bracket. Yeah. Um, so they'll give you that um, a month. But what they won't tell you is that they don't give it to you by month. They'll calculate it and give you, I think it's like 60% up front and then 40% at the end. But it is um, it is useful and it's, especially when you forget you're going to get 40% at the end and they just give you a grand or two in your account just like that. It's a nice, nice wake up call. But, but yeah, I think hopefully you'll find out fairly soon what. But it is a massive help having that Erasmus grant. Yeah. What's the city like itself? Is everything kind of in one place or is it quite spread? Uh, yeah, I, I found it really nice to university? get around. Um, it's yeah. beautiful, a like, really, really beautiful city. Um, the, it's really clean, easy to get around. Um, yeah, you shouldn't. Is the university quite central? Um, there are three main buildings for the university, and I think um, they're all like one is just slightly further out. But, it's not like yeah. here where you have a city campus. I mean, yeah. we don't really have a campus. It's more like buildings just yeah. dotted throughout. Yeah. But they're, I mean, they're all within like five hours. But fairly close to each other. Yeah, fairly close to the city centre. So yeah, I think from like the main building in Fredericksburg, maybe yeah. it's like a couple of minutes on the metro to the city centre, to like where the harbour is. Yeah. Which is just up here. Um, so yeah, no, it's it's really really pretty city. Yeah. Are there any halls you'd recommend? Um, I would. I, I can write them down at the end. But I, if you remember, there's one called. Um, oh, excuse my pronunciation. <laughs> I think it's like, is it Douglas Hall? D H. Douglas Hall. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I can write some down for you at the end. Um, I was saying a place called Catherine Collegiate, which I mean isn't the most picturesque building, and. It's a fairly standard room. You've got like a kitchenette in your own room. Um, but what I liked about where I was in Catherine Collegiate is it's got such a big, it's like quite a big building, so there's a lot of students there. So you do meet a lot of people. Um, and I think by the end of, because I stayed for the whole year, so we'd get a lot of people coming just for the semester. So we'd get some people moving and then they'd leave and then new people move in. So, I mean, by the end of each semester, you know pretty much everyone in the building. I think that's maybe about. I think maybe between like 70 to 90 people, um, which is quite big for Copenhagen. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of people found it really easy to make friendship groups and stuff because everyone was just so open and stuff. So the Danes don't live there, they live what, at home or separate halls? Or? Yeah, pretty much you won't have their own apartment, so <coughs> yeah. it's yeah. more useful than your usual. In that. Colleges, like college rooms, right? That are yeah. Like, I wouldn't say that the, probably you can probably get into them, but the price that you know them, of course. No, you, you probably can't. It's done privately. Yeah, no, I wasn't. I, they, no, they, 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 yeah. through CBS? Or? Uh, yeah, when I applied through CBS, the other thing is if you are thinking about going to Copenhagen, is to really keep on top of your application for accommodation because they know they don't have enough rooms for international yeah. students, so sometimes they might skip you off the list. Um, 
for the application process, which is what I found. Uh, two of my friends got the application and I actually didn't. Um, but I was, so I was quite lucky to get a room in the end. But if you don't get that, then you, I think, the alternative is like homestay, so you stay with a, co like a Danish family. Um, yeah, or you could sublet one. To yeah, one subletting, yeah, well. that happened a lot. But again, that's a big risk. It's also a lot cheaper um, than obviously having your own, staying in the international halls. But so yeah, that's one to think about. But if you, if you, I think if you go on the CBS website, they do have the halls like listed for you, so you can have a look. Um, and if anyone wants, I can write down someone's I recommend after. Um, cost of halls is another thing. Um, it is a lot more expensive than Leeds. I think I paid between. It'd be like four and six thousand pounds. I can't remember exactly for the whole year. Good morning. Hello. So uh, my name is Omar. I was born and raised in Egypt, and I travelled last year to Toulouse, in France, to study. And you? And I'm Xavier. I'm French, and I live in Toulouse. So basically, Toulouse Business School uh, is different than the uh, University uh, of Toulouse, which is called Capital. I think it's better. Uh, it's much better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the university is outside the city centre, so you'll have to take like a bus plus 12, 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, from the city centre it takes something like 20-25 minutes to get to the school. Um, for the transports in town, you've got a wonderful metro line, two metro lines, a tramway and buses that goes all around the city. And you have a sort of card um, for the transports. You so pay a hundred euros for all the year. For the whole year, and you can take it whenever you want at night, in the morning, how, how many times you want. It's really great, not expensive. Yeah, so um, Toulouse, I think it's cheaper, cheaper than you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cheaper than. The accommodation is cheaper than here. Um, I wasn't in halls, I was in private, like flat, but I paid less than uh, the, the small, small accommodations here. Uh, including electricity and you know heaters, whatever. Yeah. Also. So when I went there, I was in a residence, private one. Uh, it was like the best, the worst residence I've ever seen in my life. I got an applied with uh, with the people working there because they didn't take care of us. Uh, when I went there, they w they weren't waiting for us, and I told them by my email. Uh, I had like my kitchen stuff. They they were dirty. So um, plus it was. It was far from the university, so. Were you selling it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I told them that I'll sue them and <laughs> and I fought them. But then I I changed to a private accommodation. It was near the business school. I was paying for about four hundred and ninety euros per month. But the people, the, the owners were really good people. They used to take me to eat with them, to buy with them my to everything. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's more. Like it's easier to get a uh, um, private residence than uh, I don't know for international students who get who get there. Yeah, yeah, basically there's no campus there, just a building that has has a um, lot of holes and losses. So um, it's a very beautiful building. It's it's very modern. It's uh, 15 years old, but it's 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 outside of the city, so we've got the park. We've got the pound with their birds and stuff. It's it's really a nice atmosphere. The rooms are are new and it's 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 quite different from here because here you've got lectures in like big uh, theater and um, theaters. In in Toulouse Business School you have like smaller rooms, maximum forty people, and it's like it's like more like a seminar. And concerning the working hours, you've got uh, three uh, lecture three hours. But you have I two lectures. three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon. Two lectures per day. Uh, sometimes you have seminars, uh, three so hours as well. 22, 25 hours a week. But you have less, um, less work at home to do. You don't have that much reading to do. It's different from here. About the city? Yeah. Uh, the city is safe. It's very beautiful. You have like the city life and the, country, the countryside very new to each other. Uh, the food is awesome. French. Yeah. <laughs> uh, even in small restaurants you can find, or you can find loads of different yeah. restaurants, even like Chinese and stuff, which are very good. Uh, 
bit less less expensive than here. If you want to go to a buffet, it's like ten euros for all you can eat. So that's eight pounds. Um, the pubs and uh, alcohol. <coughs> it's less expensive than here. You'll find there's a um, on Thursday evenings. They are there's a student like it's the student day. They all go out and to um, what's the name of the the place? Uh, Saint Pierre. Place Saint Pierre. Yeah. Uh, it's an area where you find loads of different bars, like five or six or seven, can't remember. And you can buy like beer, like a meter of beers, that's like seven or eight pint, pints for 12 euros? No, I don't drink. <laughs> no, I don't drink like that, but uh, it's quite cheap. Yeah. And um, it's the city with the most students in France, right? I think, yeah. So yeah. there, there are three different everywhere. universities. It's really nice. If you want to go to the cinema, it's like uh, less than five euros. So that's how easy now. is it to travel around France? Yeah, it's very easy. I we went to we went to Andorra to do this like uh, uh, snowboarding and stuff. I went skydiving in a city near uh, near Toulouse. Very good experience. You can take the train. Yeah, yeah it's pretty much everywhere. Got yeah, it's easy, it's easy there because when you have the car, you can take the, the bus, you can take the metro, you can take the, uh, <coughs> the tramway. The tramway, yeah. Uh, if you go by train, uh, if you stay in the in the region around Toulouse, it's less than three euros to go in the region. Uh, if you want to go from Toulouse to Bordeaux, which is at the end on the left, west, uh, it's like twenty euros. Uh, you can go pretty much everywhere with the train. And it's a bit less expensive than here. You don't have to book that much in advance, and the price do not vary that much, as you can find here, which I find a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they don't speak. All uh, the French don't speak English at all. No. So, uh, but if you go to a restaurant or something, they can manage to get someone who can translate if you want. Um, if if in the business school. It's fine. Everyone yeah. speaks English. The teachers, you've got your lessons in English. But outside the business school, you, you want to to learn a bit of French, really, to try and you know go and do some shopping. It's better to learn some French. They're not very good at English. That's all. Has anyone got any questions? Um, yeah. How do you get that? Train card or whatever the thing is. Um, you go in the main uh, metro stations, and uh, you pay, you pay hundred euros, and you, you bring a um, an ID, an ID, any kind of ID with a recent picture, and they do it like straight away. Okay. And yeah, you can take you can take the metro, the bus, the tramway. Whatever. Um, what's the assessment like? Is it? Continuous or one exam at the end? Uh, it's both. You've got continuous exam, it's like two or three per semester, and then you've got um, you've got a like big test at the end of the semester too. You know. Yeah, the the, the I think the test at the end of more important. Yeah, more important it's uh, thirty or forty percent for the continuous assessment, and then you've got seventy or sixty percent for the main exam at the end of the semester. Questions? Any questions? Is there, um, how easy, obviously if you go to the EU and you're an EU citizen you can work anywhere in, um, in the EU, so is there a lot of opportunities in the city do you think for students to work or? Yeah. Is it hard to get a job do you think? Well I got a couple Couples of jobs, including McDonald's, which is different from here. It's it, it's not that bad, really. Um, it's really nice, in, in fact. And um, yeah, it's quite easy. You you go, you give your CV, and you get like a meeting. And yeah, you can work. You can work in shops, in restaurants. Uh, the minimum wage, uh, if you're over eighteen, is like seven euros, uh, sixty or something. That's quite nice, I think. Yeah, and anyway, the administration are very helpful there. You can just yeah. tell them anything, they will help you. Either. You want an accommodation, you want a job. Or... Um, another thing, 
um, for the accommodation, you can get um, 160 something euros from the CAC, which, uh, which is uh, something from the state that gives you money every month for your accommodation, whether you're French or any other nationality. You just have to go to them, give them your, your contract, accommodation contract, and say, I'm here for a year, could you please give me money? They give you money. That, that's really nice because well, that helps pay the bills. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay. Yeah, hi guys, I'm Julia, I'm from Mannheim and I study business administration. I'm now in my third year, so basically when I come home, I graduate. Yeah, about Mannheim. Mannheim is quite famous for its business school. Um, I think it's the number one ranked business school in Germany. That's why many international students want, want to come to Mannheim. Um, I think the reputation plays a major role. Yeah, our university isn't that big. We have about 11,500 students and they normally study business, economics or law. So it's rather focused on one area. Yeah, the university is in a, a palace. It's in the biggest uh, Baroque palace in the world. So that's a quite nice um, atmosphere for studying. And yeah, the lecture theaters are quite modern. We have the newest technology. The libraries are, are modern. So yeah, for studying, you really have everything you need. Yeah, the university is um, basically um, next to the city center so you can be there within a five minutes walk so that's quite good when you have a little time between your lectures you can just go through the city center and grab a coffee or go for a little shopping or, or whatever so that's quite nice yeah and in general Mannheim is quite um, everything's quite central uh, we have a system we don't have street names in Mannheim but we have some kind of squares like in New York and um, yeah, that's why normally all the big shops and companies are rather in the city center as well as the university. Yeah, about the student life, um, we have an organization, it's called Visum, and if you want, you can get a buddy. And yeah, our international organization, they, um, they organize trips basically every weekend, so you can go to Munich or Berlin or wherever or just have a nice pub crawl in Mannheim, a treasure hunt or yeah, fun things. Yeah, Mannheim, I think you can travel good, quite well when you're in Mannheim because um, it's only about 30 minutes to Frankfurt, Heidelberg is only about 15 minutes away and even if you want to go to Paris it's maybe about three hours with the train so yeah that's quite good. About the costs, um, it's cheaper than in Leeds, definitely, um, both the accommodation um, as well as um, food and yeah, general living ex expenses. Yeah, mm, It's one of the warmest places in Germany, so that's quite nice. Basically, it never rains in Mannheim. That's quite cool. Yeah, of course, you can also do a lot of sports uh, in university. Um, we also have unions, not as many as here, but um, you know, also student interest groups. So it's really never boring. Yeah, on Thursday evenings we normally have um, parties, even uh, open air with about 3,000, 4,000 people. So that's always quite cool. Yeah, I like it so far. I mean, about the study, um, actually it's a little different than here. We don't have to write essays at all, and we only have exams at the end of the semester. In some modules we have midterms, but yeah, we have rather one big assessment um, at the end. So basically you can enjoy your first month without doing anything, that's fine. But then, yeah, at the end you really have, have to do a lot. Yeah. Of what, course you, you what, what about the student accommodation to students? Um, yeah, I think uh, all the international students are guaranteed a place in university accommodation. Yeah, and it's quite good. You know, university accommodation is um, only in the city center, so basically um, next to 
next to university. And I think you have to pay about, I think the cheapest one is about 180 euros for a room per month. So that's about 160 pounds or something like that. Yeah, I would say normally about 200 to 250 pounds per month. So it's really a lot cheaper than here. Yeah. Yeah, and also food is, is cheaper than alcohol. What's what's it like if you don't know German? If you don't know so German. all the teaching's in English, isn't it? Or yeah, it's uh, you don't have to know any German, so all the teaching is in English, and um, yeah, we have a big um, choice of courses that are offered in English. So yeah, that's not the problem. Yeah, um, also for our for us German students, we have to do about fifty percent of our studies in English. Yeah, that's why they really need. Um, a big offer in English. Yeah, and we, we really have everything from marketing, operations, finance, human resources, taxation. So you can really find a module in every area. <coughs> Do you take about the same number of classes as you do in Leeds? Uh, yeah, uh, normally you have about four to six classes per semester. Of course, it depends on, on how many credits you get for it. Yeah, and uh, normally you have one lecture per module and also exercises and tutorials. So maybe you have to prepare a little more than here, but you don't have to do um, a lot of reading. So basically, when you prepare your exercises and your tutorials, that's basically what they will ask in the exams. So if you prepare them, yeah, you will be all right. Yeah. No, I've got any questions? What's nightlife like? Nightlife? It's quite cool, yeah. Yeah, we have um, quite a lot of nice clubs and yeah, it's quite nice. They are all uh, in the center, so basically they are nearly next to each other. If, if you don't like the one club, you can just go to the next club. Yeah, some of them even have free entry, so you can just go there. And yeah, some of them have maybe about six to eight pounds. So I think it's quite normal comparable to here. Anyone else? Hello, uh, my name is Roman. I study in Angers, so it's in the northwest of France, just in the Brittany. Uh, the school, uh, one of the top ranked business schools in France, so yeah, that's quite practical, I'd say. Uh, it's not in the city centre, it's um, about five, between five and ten minutes by bus from the city centre. Uh, for the transport, you can get a, a student car, I think it's about 200 euros, so 180 pounds for the for the whole year, and you can uh, use the bus and uh, tramway whenever you want. Um, the student life is um, mainly concentrated in the city centre, so that's where all the clubs and bars are, and you can get an accommodation either in the city centre or near the school. So, it's up to you. Um, about uh, cost, living costs. I think it's much cheaper than Leeds. Uh, the accommodation are in Portugal are much cheaper. Uh, you can get an accommodation, um, sort of university accommodation, for 250 euros, or uh, between 250 and 400 euros. Uh, private housing is uh, a private accommodation are quite cheap as well. Uh, if you really want to, you can get really big flat for less than 600 euros. Uh, you can do that. You can choose a uh, yeah, roommate, etc. Uh, it's not so far from Britain, so maybe it's quite practical to go to Angers before and. Uh, walk around the city, maybe choose your accommodation if you want to 
to take private accommodation could be practical and cheaper. So this is part of the um, ESSCA School of Management where you can take semesters, you can split your year into two semesters and take a semester in each campus or I mean there's four campuses you've got this there. Um, obviously the ones in Paris, Budapest and Shanghai as well. So it's a really good option if you don't want to dedicate a whole year to one place and you want to maybe go to Asia but you're a bit worried about being so far from home for so long or something like that. Um, yeah. So they can move to the campus? Yeah, you can, take, you can take a semester in each one. Um, I think uh, the Toulouse Business School has got two campuses as well, um, Toulouse and Barcelona, and the IE University um, has got two campuses in Spain, but both those two options, you spend the whole year in one place. Um, so it's just that ESSCA which you <coughs> can have a bit of variety, um, which is a really good option. So any difference in like pretty much what these guys said about um, assessment and grading or assessment? Uh, generally, it's at the end of the semester. Uh, you can have midterm exams as well, um, but it's mainly yeah at the end of the semester. Um, I talked with uh, international students last year. Uh, basically, the, the the work for international students is easier than uh, than ESSCA students. Mm -hmm. So uh, you get a lot less study hours, less contact hours. Uh, for us, it's twenty five uh, per week. I think for <coughs> international students, it's uh, between 10 hours and 15 hours per week. Um, less, uh, less, uh, less lectures, more seminars. Um, language? Language. Uh, How many people speak English in society? If you, sp if you only speak English uh, in the business school, it's okay. The staff speak English, the students speak English. Um, if you're on the different campuses around the city, it's okay. Um, the shops, it's okay. I think in Angers itself, you're okay with your English. In Paris as well. Uh, if you want to go to the countryside, you're in trouble. <laughs> so, but uh, we have um, in Angers uh, sort of society for just dedicated to international students. So when you arrive in Angers, when you arrive in Angers, um, they help you to get to accommodation, get to the school. Uh, if you have to open a bank account, they will help you. Uh, they organize uh, every weekend trips uh, in the countryside as to see all the cities, uh, all the, the wine production, etc. Because Angers is a, a big region for wine and uh, they will take care of you they organize um, at the beginning of each semester between international students and uh, ESSCA students uh, system of, of buddies so you get a buddy from, from the school uh, go to the restaurant all together and uh, discuss he, will, he or she will help you if you're in trouble if you need something administration as well so you're really taken in charge and it's okay. Any questions? A lot quieter than yesterday. No? Okay so thank you very much to 